What's going down, everybody? It's that guy, my high tuning back in for episode 15 of the Cushion Coffee Morning Show. Gang, gang, gang. You already know what's good. We tuning back in with Turner One Take and Eric. You know what I'm saying? The ninja yes, behind the mic now on camera. You know what I'm saying? He's no yeah, longer here. just a ninja behind the mic. He's he's on camera now. That's so, right. yeah. Say hi, Eric. What's up? <laughs> he ain't gonna look at you. <laughs> it's kind of like his stilo still. You know what I'm saying? He just get the profile. Yeah, you, 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 little, 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 little peek. Little peek. You don't get to get the whole the whole view. You know what I'm saying? Go to his OnlyFans. <laughs> Subscribe to his OnlyFans if you want to. <laughs> 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 Subscribe to his OnlyFans if you want to get that full view. Oh, but uh, <laughs> anyways, how y'all doing this morning, man? It's Friday, right? It's Friday. I think it's Friday. It is. Yeah. I'm tired. End of the week. It's been a long week. Very long week. Very long. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's jump into this, man. Let's get this. Let's get this started, man. Dad joke time. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm sparkling. Yeah. All right. Hey, you ready? You got a, you got a joke today? Or are you on my start it off? Let's see. Go ahead. I'll let, yeah. Go ahead. All right. What do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? I have no idea. They're both parasites. Oh, I like to play. You like words, it? You bro. like? Yeah. That's a good one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No, all I right, really all like right. that one. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Why did Jesus spare Fifty Cent when he got shot? Because <laughs> uh, he had I don't know two quarters. Because <laughs> he was holier than thou. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Bro. Oh, don't leave. Man, my don't allergies leave. all week have been <laughs> fucked up, bro. But that shit's funny. That shit damn near brought it. I'm, we're going to say that that brought a tear in my eye, even though it was my allergies. But that was funny. That was good. All right. All right. I got one. I got you. Okay. What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? I have no idea. So fisticated. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, Vontae. Come on, Vontae. Oh, you feel me on that one? You feel me on that one? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that one was rough. <laughs> That one was rough. <laughs> okay, what do you call an aggressive T at Starbucks? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A push a T. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Rapper jokes. Yep. Mm. <laughs> How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? How? Follow the Fresh Prince. Oh, I, see. I like that one. That's a good one, too. You like that? I like that one a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Welcome I don't have any more unless you got nope. some. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I shut it down with the Fresh Prince. You know what I'm saying? Fresh Prince up in there, bitch. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, shut it down. That's how you do that. That's how you just, you come through, you shut it down, you let motherfuckers, that was a smackdown in this Facts. bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lights out. Lights out. All right, man. Yo, Iggy Azalea. Okay, she back in the news. I ain't yeah. heard nothing she, about her. She, she tweeted out a whole list or little screenshots from her DMs. Oh, shit. You know, because she's single now. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, right, 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 right. All these famous motherfuckers in her DMs trying to trying to get it. And I ain't mad at them. I'm trying to I get see it. why. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So she she blurred out the names, so we don't know any of the names. Okay. But some of the conversations, there was one dude who with 9 million followers. Mind you, okay, nice. he's got nine million followers. Nice, it's a little and he asked a, he asked her for a FaceTime call. Yeah, and was willing to pay fifteen thousand dollars for it. Oh, this fool! Would you pay fifteen thousand dollars to FaceTime? No, no, no. I don't care how rich I am. No, yeah, I'm no, not no. doing it. Just to face, just to talk. <laughs> nope, not happening. No, you're not happening. And then there's another one. Okay, catch this. No, another one with twenty seven thousand followers. Mm-hmm. Told her. That he wanted to kiss the inside of her what? The inside of her her armpit. That's exactly what I was about to You're say. You think armpit? armpit? Yep. I was nah. gonna say armpit. Nah. Butthole. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of motherfucker gets in the DMs the like inside hey, of her bitch, butthole? I want to kiss inside your butthole. Not even just what? The, not the rim of the butthole, the inside of the butthole. Right. Very like explicit. Okay. Yeah. Inside. My guy. In what you want? <laughs> he on a whole other level of eating groceries. How, how many of these famous? How many of these famous people you think is uh, Playboy Cardi's acquaintances? Oh, bro, probably I'm most sure. of them. Yeah, you know I'm how sure. niggas is. Oh yeah, probably most of them. Facts. At least two, three of them for sure. For sure, three. I'm, you know, I'm trying to be like nice. I'm trying to be nice. Hey, but when I say acquaintances, I don't mean those are his friends. I mean those are people that claim like Absolutely. they cool with the niggas. For sure. Like they yeah, seen him in passing, dapped cool. him up, 
They just like if they see him, it's like oh. Then probably so cool. right. Then probably everybody. Yeah. Probably all of them. Oh yeah, facts, bro. Especially her. Come on, now. that's fucked up. But Come it's on, the game. Man. That's the, hey. That's the it's the game. That's you can't even be mad. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna fire someone. <laughs> Someone's gonna fuck no, for it. No, somebody, no, no, somebody no, gonna no, kiss the inside of her butthole. That's up. not the issue. The issue is, but like, how many of them niggas is still gonna go dap this nigga up next time they see? Him? Oh yeah, and they was just even after the kissing DMs inside her butthole, they'll right. do it right after, like nothing even happened. Like nothing no, happened. You take a nigga's bitch and you say, "Nigga, I took your bitch." Damn. Well, that's different. Like, you can have now you just being different, disrespectful. <laughs> now you just being an asshole. Yeah, for that, sure, but dis- still, bro, that's not being as disrespectful as if I'm fucking your bitch and I'm dapping and you and the dap you up. For sure, yeah, I agree. Sure. That's that I agree. That's I, I agree. You tell me, I agree. I'm, I'm fucking your bitch. Yeah, just, then dap me up, and then I find out later, like, damn, I was dapping this nigga up. Yeah, like, nah, <laughs> facts. Nigga. That's, that's some snake shit. I was shit. dapping up, yeah, bro. Man, yeah. You had that I eat ass face on that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, damn, oh, that's some man. bullshit. Iggy's a baddie though. I ain't even. I that's ain't some even bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> oh man, yo, do you remember when uh, Young Boy's baby or yeah, uh, baby mama got stabbed by his other his, his oh, other yeah, his newest yeah, yeah. baby mama? Yep, Floyd, that. Floyd, Floyd, blah, blah, blah. Floyd Mayweather's daughter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bruh, why is she still healing? Oh damn, so a year ago. Oh, she got fucked up. It's long term damage. Bruh. Yeah, hell yeah. She got her good. She got her. Unfortunately. Good. That's fucked up. Like, so healing like how? Like this Like she she, she didn't quite exactly say, but she went to Twitter, obviously, because, you know, pictures and the reminders and all this, you know, the bullshit because of social media. Absolutely. So she saw like the old ones and she like it retweeted, you know, oh man, it hurts my feelings to see this shit still. Like Still you know, I would wish this on my worst enemy if yeah, I had right, one. Right, like, right, right, you know what I'm saying? And basically, it's like, yeah, like the crazy thing. It's a year ago, and I'm still healing. Like, that's crazy. Nigga, that's crazy. Yeah, hell yeah. You got some damaged nerves. Or yeah, what's her name? Yaya's the yeah Yaya's the uh, the one that stabbed her, right? Uh, she crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm sorry. The, like, shit, it's bro. one thing to you know to jab a motherfucker. But you, you, <laughs> she like, yeah, she had to have jabbed yeah. and done it. To turn that shit. Yeah, and tried to crimp it out. Some, for you know real. what I mean? Something happened. She was doing some crazy shit. Ooh. That bitch was trying to kill her. Yeah. Because that, like, that, like, you know, like, that's, that's crazy damage, bro. That's, you know what I mean? That wasn't just, I want you out my house type yeah, shit. Like, like, no, I'm trying to kill you right Yeah, you're going to be buried in the gonna, backyard exactly. type shit. Like, you're going to feel this for a long time if yeah, you survive. Yeah, bruh. Which is happening, it looks yep. like. So, hopefully, you know, she, she continues to recover and it does you know heal to the best of its capability right like we know there's going to be scarring and a lot of pride damage that's irreversible so hopefully you know it just gets better no doubt. you know what i'm saying no doubt we all want it we all just wanted shit to get better you know what i mean but uh yo illinois we get some, we, we can talk about some weed shit now mm-hmm. illinois mm-hmm. they smash some records their own records obviously Dope. uh but they finally exceeded a hundred million dollars in sales mm. in march damn when did they become wreck uh it's been a few years not too I long think illinois all, was 2018 i think yeah a few years I do, I think so, some, something like that or 19 so 2020 was the 100 million dollar year or no this is the march this year so these this that was just March. That's they dope. made over a hundred. It was actually a hundred and nine million one hundred and forty nine thousand three hundred and fifty five dollars and ninety eight cents right. is what they made in sales in total. But that's up from February, which was at eighty, just over eighty million, and uh, January was at eighty eight million, yeah, just over a, that. A hell of a so yeah, they, they, that's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. fuck it, we buy stuff. Real. Motherfuckers, was, everybody was trying. The to weed must have got better or something. Some, I don't know. Or yeah. motherfuckers just that much border. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you know, spending more money. Or and shit. Yeah. motherfuckers, that's what happened. That's where their stimulus went. went. Oh, there you go. Motherfuckers was Boom. dropping stimmy yep, stacks. Yeah. Yep. Them stimmy stacks. You need an ounce every day. <laughs> yeah, everybody went and dropped them stimmy stacks and bought, <laughs> bought as much weed as they could. Stacks, bro. <laughs> and them stimmy off. stacks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that. I wish we was getting some more stimmy stacks. Is there talks of another one? I don't think so. No, I think I think the stimmy that stacks well are over. Run dry. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think that yeah. well is over. <laughs> Niggas got to go back to work. <laughs> no more stimmy stacks. Yep. The country's about to open back up too. Take yeah. your ass back to work. Take your ass back to work. Yeah. I don't think they. I don't think they about to give us no more stimmy stacks. 
which is you know it's fine with me whatever you know you know sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta yeah. do but it was nice getting those stemmy stacks Facts. who don't like a stemmy stack <laughs> shit was nice <laughs> but yo man it's time to jump into that mid pack jump into that mid pack mid pack shit you know what I'm saying real cool whoa whoa, whoa. Vontae you awake over there <laughs> oh shit right, I had read it. We're good We're good We got Joshua Menchata Or Chin However you say His name <laughs> Regardless of the point he He's on some mid-pack shit <laughs> Because this man Decided he was gonna get caught how he got caught, who knows? You know, he's he's selling drugs in 2021, okay. so niggas is dumb. They're getting days. caught, people. So niggas is getting caught all, all the time, so you know, it's it's really irrelevant how he got caught. It was more or less when he was gonna get caught. <laughs> so let's just be real. It's 2021, people. Stop selling drugs. I'm gonna keep telling you. Yes. Go get a license. Do it legally. That's all you need to do. Get a badge. Okay? Get a badge. You know what I mean? Or learn how to pay your fucking taxes so these motherfuckers just yeah, have no reason. Yeah, yeah, stay yeah. off the radar. <laughs> pay, pay Uncle Sam. Give him his goddamn cut. You know what I'm saying? Uh, motherfuckers be greedy. God damn it. Damn. But <laughs> anyways, police found 94 pounds of cannabis. Nice. 25 grams of cocaine. Mm. 124 grams of psychedelic mushrooms. Hundreds of pills, which was between like Xanax and Adderall and shit like that. Uh, and some THC concentrates. In a drug bust. Where was this at again? In Starkweather Road. Last, or, yeah, I think that's where it's called. No, Rockford, or Rockford. Rockford, Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. Make the same plan. Hell no. Did not. He, they, he, was, he was out there trapping. Yeah. He was on some lower level shit. You know what I'm saying? But Making still. Little moves. You know what I mean? Maybe you should have invested. Because he had $44,000 that was you know seized in that cash. situation too. Cash. Damn. Two firearms. Multiple rounds of ammunition were oh, seized as well. That's the feds. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you, you face some big boy time, and if it's your, if it's not your first defense, facing big boy time. Look, and not only is he facing big boy time, like you, get, you're facing all these criminal charges, but you know they're gonna throw some tax evasion in there too, because they're gonna be like, you made you, you made this much money. How long you been doing it? That's Unless right. he goes in and snitches, which is probably gonna happen. Niggas is snitching do. left and right That's these what days. They do these days. It's okay Motherfuckers for is, that to happen. They like to you snitch. Know what I mean? People not, like to not snitch. Nice. No, no, not absolutely. No. But people are snitching, That's, and they like it. Yeah, yeah. People are like, I'm people gonna do all this it. dirt, and I'm gonna if I get caught, I don't give a fuck because I'm telling them. Yep. Don't tell me the niggas be like waiting for you to tell them something so they could do some fuck shit and then That's, tell on you. Yeah. I swear. That's the culture that's... You know what I'm saying? That's how it's on crazy right shit. Well, he was charged with possession with intent to deliver cocaine, mm -hmm. possession with intent to deliver cannabis, mm -hmm. possession with intent to deliver Adderall, possession with intent to deliver psilocybin mushrooms, and possession with intent to deliver Xanax. God damn. They're going to drop the weed... <laughs> the shrooms, but they're gonna keep the cocaine. Yeah, the I was guns, I was gonna say the pills and all everything. the other shit's gonna stick. Yeah, for sure. Like really nicely. Oh yeah. That's you know case. what I'm saying? We the other shit you could probably argue, you know what I'm saying? And, and even then not necessarily, because it's still very explicit that it's not legal to sell mm -hmm. cannabis or you know, mushrooms and shit like without a license. Right. Like some of these places are decriminalized and shit like or have like, you know, uh, industries for sure, that but I mean, you should go sell it though. Yeah, you can't right. have 92 pounds and just think right. it's okay, right? <laughs> just saying, you know what I'm saying. So, with that being said, motherfucker, you're getting the goddamn mid pack of the day, Big okay? Mid. There's all there, that's just all there is to it. There's Big nothing mid. else to be said, all right? Mid pack, shit. all right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't have anything else for this one, man. What y'all want to talk about? We, we can we can got like what in five, five minutes, you know what I'm saying? We can whatever y'all want to talk about, man. I'm high as fuck. I haven't got high this morning just because it's been so early. I can't wait to get high. Bro, I'm high. I'm a little bit too high. I'm about to go yeah. be knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Me too, bro. So I was good. just thinking the same thing. <laughs> like, man, I don't think I got enough stories for this show. And I'm too high to give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, I don't so care. Go I'm going to go to the house and fucking K out. Bro. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, it's, it's over. Back. It's over. I've got a date. It's, it's been a bed. long week. It's been a long ass week. <laughs> God damn. We made it. We made it. Oh, fucking A. I was laying in bed <laughs> this morning thinking, oh, just that, that last show. 
<laughs> that last shit, bro. The whole time, I was like the last one of this week. Yeah. I just, we're here, just ready for this last one. I just need to sleep. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so especially, especially since I'm just doing so much more. Like, you know what I'm saying? We started. I started a little night job. Started doing more at the dispensary of crystal leaves and shit during the day. And then I still do everything that we do with the morning show with, you know, now with the reactions yes. and yeah, I, which I got to, we got to do three more, um, gotcha. actually, uh, uh, sometime this week or no, actually not this week, next week. Cause you'll be gone this week. Yep. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm just, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm, I'm it's a lot, getting into this new schedule of life of like getting 30 minutes of sleep here, an hour there, 25 minutes here. Straight power naps. Power naps all the way through, bro. I, I, my days are mixing together. I don't even know what day it is. For exactly. real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just all one day. Absolutely. Have, is, it, is the sun went up or down yet? I have no idea. What day is it? Yep. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I don't even fucking know. For like, real. What, do I go to what, which job? Like that's just really how that's you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. Yeah. But uh yeah, shout out to all the sponsors, man. We got Crystal Lee's, the Cuban crew, Habana Extracts. Make sure you go motherfucking holla at at at, at your boy. I'm actually I'm over there, you know, in the mornings, actually Monday through Friday, so you, you might be able to see me, but you motherfucking come up there, you dig what I'm saying. Yeah, but uh if you do and you mentioned the can or the the cannabis show. The Christian Coffee Morning Show. God damn, it's been a long week. The Christian Coffee Morning Show. <laughs> get a discount. Mention me, you get a discount. Um, you can go ahead and get some high grade. You dig what I'm saying? If you ain't pouring up, you ain't doing it right. That's just the facts. And that's facts. just what it is. And uh, yeah, content creation studio. If you're a content creator and you're trying to elevate your shit, motherfucking come holler at Eric because he will motherfucking edit the shit out of some shit. Facts. You dig what I'm saying? And then we got JD who can help you lay out your entire you know, vision so that we can effectively or they can effectively shoot it for you and make it look like the way you want it to look or better than what you envisioned in yourself. Shout out to Josh, too, because without him, this is not possible with all the content creation studio, you know, ness and vibes and, and, and shit that he brings to the table, man. Right. So shout out to everything going on here. Shout out to THC Girls. Go look them up because if you're a cannabis company living in or around the cannabis industry, uh, you definitely just want them on your team. You know what I'm saying? It's a benefit to have them on your side uh, rather than not. So, yeah, shout out to them. And I'll see y'all later, man. Shout out to you, Turner. Shout out to you, Eric. Appreciate Love you, y'all. We did it. It's time to go we ahead and, you know what I'm saying, wrap up this week. And I'll see y'all next week. You dig what I'm saying? Gang. Yeah.